G'day everyone, it's Chris from CL Hobbs here. Um, there's been massive interest in the GF slider system from GFM. It's probably the most popular slider on the market. And what I wanted to do was make a little bit of a, a walkthrough of the purchasing process of the GF slider. Um, what we're looking at here is the AL2520 3 foot 3 basic set. So when you purchase a slider, you purchase the basic set and then you add on to it all the different accessories that you want to put on. So if we just look at this here, just so you're aware of what you're getting in the basic set, you're getting the uh, standard ends here with the 360 tooth mount system on them. Everything in the GFM range for the sliders mounts off of these tooth ones. You can, of course, have the flat ends if you so desire. Um, some of my key grips prefer the flat end just so that there's, there's, if they know they're only going to have it sitting on the dolly and not doing anything else. So that's, that's your option for those. You get the rails of whatever length it is. In this case, it's the 3 foot 3. You get this piece here, which is the carriage, which has got the bearings built in. And it's got included in it two of the low height adjusters, which are here and here. These can be changed to different heights with different height adjusters that you go on there. That would be for if you had a head with an extra long thread or something where you needed more room to get to it. GFM makes these in three different sizes, um, low, medium and high. Uh, and then that's pretty much what you get with it. You get two of the spring stoppers in there. A lot of people are happy with the spring stoppers. Some people want to change them to the additional magnetic ends which you can get as well. Once you've done that, then what you want to do is you want to build up your slider. Let's take a little look at how that happens now. So now that you're building your slider, you want to decide what top you want to have on it. Uh, nine times out of ten in the US market, you're going to be going for a Mitchell top there. So that's actually just going to mount on there, sit on there, boom, boom, boom. And mounts in with these screws in here like that. It's designed so that you can put different mounts in. Some of you may have a, a, a favorite old 100mm bulk head or something like that, so you can get different ones. For the um, UK market and the Australasian market, they go with a 150 bowl. But most of the time in the US, you're going to be going with your standard Mitchell right there like that. The next thing you're going to need to do is uh, decide on your base mount. So in the slider basic package, it's just designed to, to sit on the ground and be a slider. You can whatever accessories you may want to mount off light stands or off a tube or something like that 95% of the US market is probably going to want to mount it on a dolly so you're going to be looking at this which is the uh, integrated uh, pan mount for it it's a Mitchell mount on the bottom there and at these four points here it's going to mount onto the bottom of our carriage here like that and then we'll be going backwards and forwards on our dolly uh, in other territories, we sell it with the Euro mount. So you can mount it on top of a, um, a Euro bazooka or something like that. Um, probably you wouldn't go for that over here. Alright, that's what we do for that. And then the next thing is side plates. And these are just absolutely ingenious side plates for horizontal positioning. What happens is the side plates mount like this. And you'll see it on a wider shot we do. Can you see down the bottom of the elevation? Yeah. So the side plates are going to mount on here. And what that allows us to do is offset wherever that's going to be, realizing that your Mitchell mount, your dolly's going to be there. We're going to offset it over there where it's going to be. It also allows us to take it on and off the dolly very quickly, which will show you a show you in a wider shot. So you select your side plates. So uh, now we've built it up and what you're looking at here is the side plates here and the um, Mitchell base plate there. One of the fantastic things about these side plates is that if you're wanting to come down, go on those boxes really fast, all we need to do is unscrew it like this and then we're actually going to take off the whole slider. So that's how quick we can go from the dolly mount to another shot here. That's all happening with these side mounts here. So I always suggest that people get the side mounts. They're just a fantastic addition. 
So one of the most popular aspects of the GF slider system is your ability to just buy an additional set of rails to give yourself a longer slider. Uh, what we've got here is we've got a set of three foots, a set of four foots, this one's the big six foot. All I've done is I've taken off the end now, I've slotted it on here like that, I then screw it in there, there and there on each side. We'll get our carriage, pop it on, it goes in, this will come in here, locked off there, there and there through those holes. And then, as quick as that, you have yourself another slider. That's a very popular aspect of the system. Uh, last thing in, in your sort of standard slider purchase is uh, the transit case. GFM makes these absolutely fantastic um, cases. Uh, you can get them in the size of the slider that you want. This is a four footer. Um, inside they have uh, four of these partitions which we can pop in however we want and line it up and then when we pop our accessories in like that they're all there and then uh, we can pop our slider fully built and it's just going to drop in and sit in like that close it up and good to go so that is the GF slider system uh, email me, call me, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. All right, cheers, thanks.